Welcome kindergarten students, parents, and teachers. You've had a great year. Uh, we miss you during this time, but we're excited to celebrate your kindergarten graduation as you have passed a milestone and you're moving on into first grade. Thank you for joining us today remotely. And we're gonna start with a word of prayer from Dr. Debbie Ranton. Please join me in a word of prayer. Father God, we are so thankful for the amazing blessing of these kindergarten students in our lives. I pray that you would just watch over them and allow them to grow and learn in your word, Lord. I'm so thankful for all of the families who are at the King's Academy and for the blessing that they are in our lives and in these students' lives. I pray that you would just continue to place your protection over them and guide them as they learn and grow for the rest of their academic and spiritual careers. I pray that you give each of these families a season of, of peace and rest as they go towards the summer. And Lord, help them be refreshed and renewed as they join us as first graders next year. God, we thank you for the many blessings that you give to us each and every day. In your name I pray, amen. I am grateful for the chance I have had to teach your children. They are your most treasured possessions and I know that and I respect that. I love each and every one of my students and I'm just so proud of them and how far they have come this school year in learning. They have a permanent place in my heart. To see their faces as they read their first word or as they are able to tell about God's word after listening to a Bible story, that's priceless. That means so much to me. And I'm so glad to share part of that with them. And although the memory verses have been a little lengthy this year, I do believe one thing, that they have impacted your children in a way that has germinated into something that will continue to grow if we continue to water it. And that is the understanding about how important God's word is to them. Boys and girls, you have so many blessings around you to be thankful for. You have your parents, your family, your friends, your teachers, a whole list of people at school who are there for you when you need. You have two families now. You have your biological family at home and you have your school family here your TKA family. Parents, I really encourage you to continue to feed them spiritually with the seeds that we have planted because their hearts are ready to take in God's word. And I know you want them to grow up and to be the very best they can be. That's really been my goal this school year as I see them in the classroom and on Google Classroom. I expect the very best out of them. So parents, I wanna leave you with this one verse and um, it's something to help you continue with your academic and spiritual journey as you raise your little ones. It's one that I pray for with my three children here at home. And it comes from 3 John 4. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. So be in good faith and good cheer and know that with it, all things are possible. So at this time, I present to you Mrs. McDaniel and Mrs. Feldman's kindergarten class of 2020. Luke Bernard, Connor Floyd, Tenley Foote, Kensley Hartig, Andrew Jameson, Eden Nabhan, Andres Felipe Sanchez, Annie Shi, Olivia Simpson, Jacob Sparrow, Shane Thomas, Whitney Thomas, Bethany Vetter. Hello, TKA families. This year, I have had the pleasure of teaching 15 wonderful kindergarten students. Last summer, as I was praying for the school year and the students that God would place in my class, it was clear that he wanted me to create an environment where they can be themselves and be celebrated for being unique. 
through prayer, God laid on my heart that he wanted these students to leave kindergarten knowing that they were lovingly created in his image. They are perfect the way that he made them. I wanted them to know that the world should have no power over them and that they are beautiful because they are created in God's image. What I didn't know at the time was how the word unique would follow us throughout this year. I think it is safe to say that the way the school year ended is definitely unique. While it may have come as a surprise to us, it was no surprise to God, and his plan is so much bigger than we can ever imagine. At this point, we may not know why things happened the way they did, but we can have peace in knowing that God is sovereign and his ways are so much greater than our own. I am so proud of how the students have adapted to this online learning environment. Although it was not easy, the students and their families have done a great job of finishing the fourth quarter strong. It is my prayer that the students will look back at the fourth quarter and remember the fun that it brought. Extra time with family, staying up late, sleeping in, playing outside, getting to create new games inside, building forts, eating meals as a family. The list goes on and on. It is my prayer for you that you embrace the uniqueness that this summer will bring and create memories together that will last a lifetime. And now, in the most unique way, I present to you Mrs. James and Mrs. Martin's graduating kindergarten class of 2020. Elijah Adams. Eden Barnes. Macy Burke. Ella Joy Daly. Landon Mastandrea, Zoe Mejia, Samay Patel, Anna Piltz, Macy Branton, Grace Richardson, Benjamin Slay, Chloe Talpesh, Claire Todd, Anita Umoran, Brooklyn Wall. Hello boys and girls. Today is your kindergarten graduation. Yay! I just want you to know that as your teacher, I am so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. This was such an amazing year and I felt so privileged and blessed to be a part of the journey of watching you grow and become more of who God created you to be. So we learned so much this year. We learned reading and writing and numbers and addition and subtraction and the list could go on. But of all the things that we learned this year, the most important thing that I believe we learned was how to be a good friend and how to love and respect one another, how to think of others before we think of ourselves and I can think of key moments where each of you stopped and considered your friend and supported your friend and loved your friend. And I just think that that is so beautiful. And I'm just so proud of how much you have grown just in the area of love and loving each other. I think of 1 Corinthians 13, where the Bible teaches us that you can do all kinds of things in your life, even good things. But if you don't do it with love, it amounts to nothing. But if you do it with love, love will never fail and it always produces good fruit. My prayer for you is that you continue and journey on into first grade is that you would grow in the ability to love one another. I think of the first and greatest command that God teaches us, and that's to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I pray that for you, that you would love God with all that you are. And the second greatest commandment is to, that you would love your neighbor as you love yourself. And I pray that also for you, because a life full of love is a fulfilled life, and whatever you do will prosper when you're walking in love. So that's my prayer for you, is that as you continue to go and to grow, that you would grow in all things in love. So without further ado, I now present to you the kindergarten graduating class of Mrs. Young. Yay! Xander Butcher. Sophia DiMartino. Mackenzie Ertle. 
Anastasia Gerdock, Ethan Hulsher, Addison Jarrell, Harper Cornhouse, Jacob Mars, Savannah McCarty, Carter Phillips, Elliot Poole, Caden Varnador, and Guinevere Vetter. Kindergarten students, we miss you so much, but we can't wait for you to be back on campus as first graders. We're praying for you and we hope you have a healthy and safe summer.